Hey designers, I have something special today. Uh, if you just started using the Figma tool or if you're new to it, exploring it, you should know these tricks. So I'm here today with Figma hacks you might not have heard of. Let's get into that. I think you might have seen the progress ring or um, a loading circle. Yeah, there might be some of the interactions you have seen. You like How can we make it more easily? let's see that uh, this is the circle that we are going to make okay let's draw a circle first wait let's draw a circle first give it the color whatever you may want okay i'm making it lighter and then there is some dot called arc you can see it press ctrl and make it this way I okay, uh, hope you can be able to see it now. So keep it this way and enlarge it and join it again. Sorry. Join it again. Uh, so you got the ring first and then you can duplicate it. Uh, change the color now maybe to red or something. And then I'm just going to make this ring half of it. And then I'm going to give it some points to the corners let's have six or something and then 10 might work better i think yeah yeah so this is how we will make the loading circle hack number two if you are making uh, something inside the frame and you want to enlarge it with the as a whole part then you can be able to only sometimes you can be able to only uh, enlarge the size of the frame but not the elements inside it so for example let's see i have this frame number two and with some things inside so if i'm trying to enlarge this this is gonna let me enlarge only the frame size but not the elements inside it if i want to enlarge this size bigger as well then i have a choice where i can do it like i can press k and then make it big i was always reluctant to scale the design in the past because uh, something was broke always mostly this might be helpful for you to scale without getting distorted Hack number three, if you have a lot of elements and you want to grid it, reposition or swap it in a proper with all the spaces, with with a proper equal spaces, in that case what you can do is, you have to select all the elements which is inside, it can be anything. If you want to grid it then go to that, uh, we have a drop down option here, so you can click on it and then there is an option called tidy up, if you click on this tidy up, it will get rearranged with a proper equal spaces and then you can maybe if you want to arrange it something and then you can do it like this so it will be more easier yeah it makes your work more easier hack number four do you know we can actually review a color with the eyedropper tool in case if you want to replace the color in a button or any of the cards or something can do it like this select the component that you want to check the color on so i'm selecting the send otp button here you have to select the rectangle uh, to check the color so that uh, it will change based on so click on i to get the eyedropper tool and then start checking it see you are it's easy it's very easy you can check the color easily like this you have to click on eyedropper i mean that is i button every time you want to check it's more easier hack number five so do you know you can unlock all the objects easily because an action i always uh, use is to unlock my all my objects and changing the fonts that's what the usual actions i do in my uh, in my designs how to make it more easily is what i'm going to show you now uh, let's say we have all these elements which is uh, unlocked so i'm going to lock it now Okay, it's locked so you can't select it now as i'm clicking it and you can't be able to select it see it's selecting and it's not because we have locked it and now you have to unlock it so how can you do that control slash control slash or command slash might work here so i'm just pressing on it and then searching for unlock all objects it's unlocked again see i can able to select it now hack number six how can we actually uh, replace the images inside these rectangles? 
uh, we know it like mostly we will copy it and then paste it one by one uh, if I want to select a group selection for example I have a lot of images downloaded I want to group select it and then paste it at once how can I do that okay uh, so I have all my uh, images downloaded now what you have to do is you have to click on Control shift K Control shift K things will open up whatever you want to do is you have to select it Let's have control 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, 6. Okay, we have selected 6 uh, photos now. So now you have to just paste it. Click on each rectangle so that automatically the images that you've selected will, will be placed order by order. So either you have the option of place all or discard all. You can do that if you want or else you just have to click on it one by one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ta -da, ta -da. So all the images that we have copied have been now pasted. Hack number 7. More tricks with spacebar. So we are having it so we are going to use it for designing. Let's see. Uh, let's say that we have uh, selected this orange and green color. But I don't want this orange and radium green. I want that uh, red and pale green. Okay. So what I'm going to do is now I have to click this. You don't need to unselect it and go and select it back. In case this is just a small example. Maybe you can if you are selecting a larger uh, group or elements or objects. So in that case you don't want to unselect it and go and select them all again. So if you have the enough space you can just click on the space bar and then move this rectangle there. So you have the selection box in your uh, cursor so that you can just place the selection anywhere if you want. Okay. And you can do this hack for drawing a new uh, rectangle or circle like whatever the shapes you are going to draw you can do this as well. Say I have drawn this rectangle and if, if I am just moving the cursor this shape changes right. If you don't want to change the shape but you want to replace the uh, you want to uh, change the place of that rectangle you can just click on the space bar and then move the rectangle wherever you want that's all about today hope this will be helpful for you and maybe you can uh, do your work faster with these hacks that's what that's why i wanted to mention these easy simple steps maybe uh, as a new users you might not know this if you are using the figma tool for the first time or you are just exploring it this you have to maybe start making use of these uh, tricks so that your work get more easier okay that's all thank you let's meet you all in the next video bye bye